those out. Days later, for sure. Snap laws are as fast under the water as they are on land. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood.
Be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Matika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And Matika. She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it, and open it up. You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here.
in the sky. At least for now.
getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. warriors everywhere. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. 
He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stonecrest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Vashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She... was the deadliest of my marshals. The point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not ignore the benefit when I ex challenged me. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to not, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot. But I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place that chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Thank you. 